Well, I started uh, before Imagine was the name of the organization and worked in direct services. Imagine became the name that's now known by many in the community. In a community awareness, uh, we went from a nobody, uh, nobody really knew of us, so we they didn't really know what we did. And now we're well known and a respected uh, member of the Boulder Broomfield County community. And so I'm proud to, to work for Imagine. Uh, working at Imagine means I'm part of a community who at its heart wants to help always serve to live a better life to its fullest. So in uh, the first week that I started, I was, as I said, in, in uh, direct services in a, uh, a group uh, setting. And I, I met all the people. I was just my usual self. Uh, it was a, a bit of a career change for me. And, uh, and so this one fellow said, uh, you look really nice. Uh, this was a client, we'll call him Michael. Uh, you look really nice, except for that zipper. And I looked down and I had forgotten to, to zip up my zipper. And that was the nicest way anybody had ever told me uh, that kind of thing. Uh, so, so Michael, I, you know, followed through the years, but that, that group setting was made up of those who had recently come out of a small institution. It was made up of those that uh, had never been in an institution. Um, you know, they were integrated in schools and such, and um, they were from high uh, economic uh, families and, and uh, lower economic status. And uh, and so Michael was an example. I was able to follow him through the years um, once I became a case manager as well. And I, I saw him from saying, no, I, I really don't want to have any close relationships in my life to who's that? Who's the, who's Michael hanging around? Oh, that's that's a girl he likes. And uh, to, you know, not having a job, to having a job and being a fixture in a place for, for many years and then transferring to another store, uh, to, you know, living in a group home, to having his, his own home. So, uh, you know, it's, it's really was about uh, just seeing people move from institutions to integration or from uh, school trans transitioning into usual adult life and I, I guess I could call that actualization so it was great to and is great to be part of that. You know uh, on on one side of um, of, of working here you, you get to see those stories like I, I just uh, gave and uh you know it's it's you know like a tapestry it's it's all nice and pretty and it's it's one you want to display to others when you're you're raising funds uh on the other side it's a lot of work and some of it's some of it's easy but mundane uh some of it's tough and you really need to have a, a community of other um, fellow employees to to get through it it's uh it means working toward a goal that might never be realized but at least doing your best to to see that that accomplished or at least the potential of it accomplished for everybody we serve i do believe that uh, we'll continue to carry forward that that spirit of imagine into um, these these new organizations that are coming up and I I I do hope that uh, you know there's people see the opportunity that is coming about uh, we you know grew from a, a very small uh, organization and uh, people would promote an idea and 
supervisors, managers would say, yeah, why don't you go ahead and try that out? And then as we've grown as an organization, it's like, well, that's not in our plans if somebody would bring up a new idea. And so I'm, I'm hoping with this change coming about that when we'll again reevaluate and consider, um, you know, what we could do differently, uh, what new innovative ideas people have and to uh, in, encourage some some dreaming and some some growth and maybe some areas we've never considered. So that's those are my biggest hopes for uh, for Imagine.